Hey y'all, welcome to Unboxing Discovery by G. My name is Gina, my kids are about. Bonnie is coming this direction. I think Callie may be in the bathroom. I hope that is not an issue because Bonnie likes to trap her before she comes out of the bathroom. You gonna be a good girl? Yeah? Going through the maze of boxes? I've got a few. And the one we're fixing to do is Wantable. Y'all, this was not always my favorite box. When I first started, I thought everything was outrageously priced. Uh, there was a lot of things I liked, but there was a lot I didn't. The more I got the box, the more I fell in love with it, especially their specialty edits. I think those are so fun. But this one is the style edit. They have several different ones. They have style, they have active, they have a sleep and lingerie type edit. They have a men's edit. Um, all kinds of fun stuff. Let's see, did I say them all? I think I did. So they send you seven items. You have five days to try everything on. Your styling fee will be $20. That is credited back to you if you keep anything in the box. If you keep, I think it's, if you keep five or more products, you get 20% off. And if you use my link below, you get 25% off. So yay for that. Thank you so very much if you use my links. Right now, we're going to open the box and see what's inside because you know me, I'm dying to know. And, you know, full disclosure, I am not feeling great still. Uh, when I go out of town, it's like when you go on a busy vacation. Well, hello, Miss Bonnie Faye. You want to say hi? Hi. Say hi. She's like, I am not saying hi to you. You brought kittens into this house the other day. I brought my bestie two of my daddy's barn kitties. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. If you have not watched, I have a few different videos of them. They are so adorable, just little shorts. And I will be posting more because we cannot get enough of these kitties. But Daniel told me, he's like, you are not bringing them home for you. It's like, no, no, no. They're, they're gonna be for my bestie. They're not for me. But I still get to play with them. <laughs> So, Wannable is Try Before You Buy Clothing subscription, if you haven't guessed from all of the rambling I have been doing. Alright, let me see if I can pull this out. Here we go. I can't believe I did that without dropping anything. That right there is a small miracle. <laughs> um, once you've tried everything on and seen what you want to add to your closet, you go, you check out, you give them feedback. Then you put what you want to return and what you want to exchange into this envelope. You take it back to the post office and you're done. Shopping made easy. You get to try it on in the comfort of your home. See what clothes you have in your closet that will go with it or won't go with it. Uh, I love this. Y'all know I'm still not super great. Um, you know, I'm still agoraphobic. I still get very nervous when I leave the house. I when I get in a crowd, I go into panic mode. Um, panic attacks are not fun. I do not recommend them. So yeah, even talking about it, I can feel myself tensing up and actually like almost chilly bump feelings on my skin because that's how bad it can get. By far, I am not the worst. I know many people have a lot worse than I do and my heart goes out to them and my prayers. But it does get better. I am improving. Y'all have helped me immensely. I know I have went off the rails, but you know I do that. Because it's like, you know, you sit here and you're talking to your buddies. That's what happens. The conversation goes in 20 different directions. Then you have to circle back around to the one you want to keep talking about. That's how my conversations go anyway. So in here, let's see. My stylist is Andrea. Oh, look how cute. She's a cutie. It says, hi Gina, Ex explore just in fall trends with these seven pieces selected just for you. I know you love to wear maxis, so I thought a yellow version would be fun. <sighs> a yellow version? A yellow version <laughs> would be a fun option to try with sandals now and a belt, booties, and a denim jacket later on in the year. That's awful bright for fall. That's more of a spring thing, I would have thought. The new season looks good on you, and so will these cool weather styles. You can easily expand on your existing closet by pairing your current faves with these pieces from this edit. Take the next five days to discover which pieces feel totally you. 
I look forward to hearing what you think at self-checkout. So, my total, everything in here is worth $383. Of course, if I kept five things, I would get a discount. So, that would bring me to $306.40. And then I would get the 21, is it 20 or 21? Okay, I get the $20 styling fee back, but you also get the sales tax. So, it gives you $21. 40 back of course my sales tax would be if i kept everything 21 dollars and 45 cents so <laughs> i have a seven percent sales tax in mississippi uh so it would be 306 dollars and 45 cents if i keep everything let's just see oh did you see the sticker i love this cute little detail that they say styled for gina on there i just i think it's cute What do they say? The devil is in the details. I don't like to think of it like that. I think of it just like the fun is in the details. Details can make or break an outfit, a room. You know, it really surprises me how that works. Ooh, I think this is jewelry. Multicolor striped teardrop earrings in multi. Wow, okay. These are bold, funky fun. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if I could pull these off, y'all. These, these are, oh, they're kind of fun though. I mean, I mean, look at that. It looks like this is real wood and this is what, what do they call it? Enamel, colored enamel. And then you have this ropey feeling textured top to them this is very interesting very interesting let's see what they say find them um, these are from fame accessories oh i requested them did i really did i really request them i know i was looking for some earrings that had color in them but this is a little much uh, they're $30 earrings. I requested them in July. They look so pretty on that girl, but I just don't know. What do y'all think? Do you think they're too much? I think they're a little too much. I love a fun, funky earring, but would I ever reach for them? So, let's just move on. Oh, soft. I love this kind of material. What is it, though? Oh, upside down. <laughs> okay. So, it is a wrap, a sewed wrap. I really like this pattern. I actually think I have something similar in a dress in this material. Maybe even the color, I don't know. Or maybe I've just tried something on. I think it's cute. I'll have to see how that gathering at the bottom works for me. It, you know, it looks like it's pulling in to the side. And sometimes that drives me crazy if it doesn't look like it's where it's supposed to be but I mean what is going on okay so that's what it is that inside part was just pulling it it's very pretty this is the love Pila floral wrap front sleeveless top in den denim ivory large $44 I did request this. Maybe that's why I think I recognize it because I requested it. 96 polyester for spandex, machine wash, cold, delicate, lay flat to dry, made in Mexico. I, I think it's cute though. Has a little gathering up at the top. I think it'll make a cute silhouette. Bonnie's like, whoo, she threw something. <laughs> this is skies are blue very similar to something i've either tried on or have um i love skies are blue y'all have i tried this exact shirt on maybe in a different color because i remember these little pom-poms and the pleating but i do like this color not knocking it because i really do like it and i requested it <laughs> skies are blue flower print trim detail blouse and sage large it's 54 dollars 
I must have went crazy on requesting stuff in July because that's where it all says requested in July, requested in July. <laughs> um, I love Skies Are Blue. I especially love their um, lasers, but I do like their tops as well. This is 100% rayon hand wash cold, hang to dry, low iron if needed. It's very cute. I love these type, I love this, these greens with these little delicate flowers on them. I do have soft spots for things like that. Well, let's look at the bright, bright yellow top or skirt now. Oh, it's a dress. Wow, okay. I don't know how I feel about this one. It does have some cute embroidery, which I do like embroidery, but it's so yellow. <laughs> It's so yellow. And I think you'd have to iron it. I think there's a slip on the inside of there. Let's look because there's a lot of skirt. Am I even on camera? <laughs> there's a lot of this one. I know these are popular, but I just don't know if they're popular in my closet. Yes, there is another skirt under there. A short one too, which is a little weird. This is... The shell is 100% cotton. The lining is 100% cotton. Machine wash delicate. Cycle cold water with semi clothes. Line dry, low iron if needed. It'll definitely need an iron, y'all. I mean, I could try my new um, steamer on it and see how that works. But this is a travel. I think I'm wearing travel jeans today. <laughs> Sleeveless linen, or excuse me sleeveless lined dress with embroidery in lemon it's in a medium it's normally 88 dollars and it's on sale for 44. medium i normally do large but maybe because it's so oversized we'll, we'll just have to find out i knew that this looked small this looks so small up here <laughs> yeah what are you doing bonnie she is just a busybody today everywhere. Oh, yes. All right. Maybe it would peel because it's soft. <laughs> I don't know. This is the solid yummy hoodie cardigan in heather green, large, $59. This is W by Wannable. That's the Wannable brand. And oh, I love cuddling up and things like this though oh my gracious it's long it's really long it's got pockets it's got that sleeve that you double up you know I always fold these up like this it's $59 I could just see me curling up in this thing it is 70 polyester. It's in a large. It's 26 round, four spandex. Machine wash cold separately. Do not twist or wring. You reshape it and dry it flat. Iron or lowest setting is needed for best results and dry cleaning. Okay. And it does have a hoodie, y'all. I love a hoodie. Especially when I'm at mom's. And I have to go walk the dog <laughs> late at night and it's cold. These come in so handy. All right, Los Angeles. LTJ, Letter to Juliet, Los Angeles with love. These are shorts. I don't know that I need any more shorts, but these are cute. I love a square pocket. Y'all know that about me. That's kind of a give or take. Some people love a square pocket, some people don't. These are drawstring and elastic. The pockets in the back are, I don't think they're real. Well, they are real. They are real pockets. These are enlarged. Drawstring linen shorts and sage large. They're $64. Now, I probably will not keep a $64 pair of shorts in September. <laughs> um, even though they're cute, I just probably won't. All right, let's see what these are. These are silver jeans. I've been getting more silver jeans in my boxes lately. 
These are the Avery Skinny Double Button in Indigo, size 30. These are $88 jeans. Y'all, the silver jeans I used to buy were not $88. Uh, of course, I bought them at Gordsman's, which is kind of, like, discounted. But, man, I think I would have thought 50 was expensive. And now they're 88 Gracious. Okay, so they have the um, Distressed Hem. A little distressing, distressing on the top of the pocket. These are, did I say Avery Curve Fit High Rise Skinny Legs? I think I said all that. Maybe I didn't. Okay, well, I've said it now. These are size 30. And the inseam is 29. You know, they normally don't tell you that much. But these are 30 29s. I do kind of like the way that looks. Kind of cute. And I like the way the pocket was, too. Now, there is a little distressing on here as well. You know, I don't always love distressing. I will wear it. But man, every time I try to put these things on, my toes are gonna go through these holes. And then I trip and fall. Cause I am no way for my fashion a steady type of person. But interesting, I don't think I could pay 88 for them unless I just absolutely adore them. Which is possible with me, but I have a lot of denim in my closet right now. I need to go through and thin out. It's on my to-do list, along with a million other things that I just have not been doing. So, what did y'all think of this box? Very interesting. I actually, you know, the earrings, that's my fault. I requested them. Um, I don't think I could do those. The sweater, the cardi sweater, I love. The jeans, I think if I was in the market for jeans, I would like those. The shorts, same thing. Um, the tops, I like. Where's my price sheet? Yeah, uh, the yellow dress. I'm not sure about the yellow dress. Maybe it was if it, it was if it was in a different color, I might feel a little more secure about it. But we'll try it on and we'll see. Um, I don't know that I'll keep it because since it's 100% cotton, it is going to be wrinkly. But it's going to be fun to try on. And of course, I always want y'all's opinions. Let me know what you think I should keep, what I shouldn't keep, all that good stuff. If you think it looks good on me. If you think it looks crazy and you don't know what me or the stylist was thinking, I want to hear that too. While you're down there giving me great comments and great feedback, I really appreciate y'all's feedback too, y'all. Uh, hello. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel. Subscribing to my YouTube channel is absolutely free and I really appreciate it. So go ahead and turn that little subscribe button that says that's red, turn that gray make it say subscribed. I really appreciate it. And then share with your friends. Let them know about it. I also would really appreciate it if you would press that thumbs up button and please press that notification bell. <clears throat> if you're interested in tipping your creator, there are two ways to do that now. There is the super thanks down below that is through YouTube or you can buy me a cup of coffee. There's a link for that below. I'm going to show you what I'm wearing today. We're going to try this stuff on if somebody will get out of my lap. <laughs> she just jumped up here, y'all. All right, I'll see you back in a second. So, this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing this cute little Nashville top that I got from, I think, Wannable, and some tribal shorts. Can't remember where I got them. I'll look it up, see if I can find it. She just pushed the door open. She cannot stand a shut door. Uh, my jewelry. My sister gave me these, and this I've had forever. I, I honestly, I think I got it at Kohl's, but it was a long, long time ago. I've had it for years and years and years. Anyway, so that's my outfit of the day. Let's try on some clothes. I don't like it, y'all. It looks funny right here, and it says belt it later, and even with a belt, I don't love it. Um, there's something about the skirts when the outside is longer than the inside it drives me crazy because it makes me feel like this is riding up or too short even though this is covering it this thing is voluminous y'all it is voluminous it'd probably be a good twirly dress Woo! <laughs> but it is just not my cup of tea i think i just have too much up here and it just kind of looks weird right in here to me and it just almost nightgowny. Um 
and the color is so bright it's more spring I'm looking for more camos and neutrals and fall colors right now not bright yellow flowy thingy I'll have to iron <laughs> so let's move on I will show you the back before I move on <sighs> yeah nightgown so this is very me this is very very me um, I like the top I like the skies are blue top it's very flattering very cute this is a little tight so I feel like I might have to keep kind of pulling it down or adjusting it the pants when I put them on my toe did not go through the hole I was very excited about that I thought they were gonna be too tight at first but they gave a little and I think they're cute I think they're very cute I love how high up they come my belly button is right here so you can see they have a good amount to come up and hide that muffin very cute leggings I like them all right let's see oh let's put that cardigan over the top love the cardigan too soft so so soft I mean it's warm it's cozy it's nice it's soft I mean this is this is how I would be doing it <laughs> if I was outside I'd be cold um, inside maybe not so much but that's why I love cardigans because you can just take them off and throw them somewhere now I left this one unrolled so you could see how long it is can you barely barely see my fingers I just fold this one in half of course this bracelet was getting in the way but it makes it perfect I guess I could cuff my bracelet on top of it. Oh, that looks ridiculous. <laughs> what do y'all think? Let's let's do the uh, hood. Now this is how I would be. Mm -hmm. Oh yes, I like it, but I am a little worried that it would peel and lose its shape. But I like it. And I really want to keep it let's move on so that other shirt mine went with these shorts a little better but I gotta say this top it's kind of nice I like it it's thicker so it might keep me a little warmer since the temperatures will be getting a little cooler um, I did have to make sure that the seam was flipped out or flipped in as as the case may be what do y'all think of this top? I think it's pretty cute and it hides the belly a bit. You can definitely see my indents on the back here. And this is not exactly on the side. That's what I was gonna tell you. I don't know how I feel about it not exactly being on my side. Comes around a little more. What do y'all think of that? The shorts, I mean, they're okay. I don't think they're worth the money. They're just shorts. I mean, if I needed a pair, I'd keep them, but I don't need a pair. So I think that's everything. Let's do a recap. All right, y'all, I am back with a little one size powder because I was getting shiny. I had, I had to fix some stuff, you know, because whew, trying on clothes is not for the lazy. <laughs> it's not, and I could be lazy. All right, let's just go through and see what we're gonna think. Uh, this dress, y'all, this dress is just not for me. It just, it was tight up here around the embroidery because I'm large chested. And I think if I was not as large chested, it would have been better, but it's so nightgown-esque. It's so, it reminds me so much of that. And I, I just can't do it. I cannot. This one is just not me, so. Even though I think the embroidery is very cute, it's just, I can't do it. These are cute and they're comfortable. And if I needed shorts, I would probably keep them. Wait, let me see about the price. I don't know, I might not for $64. They're, I mean, they'd be nice, but I, I, I'm not gonna keep them, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Um, I'm tempted to keep this. I'm afraid I'll get hot in it because of how nervous sweaty I get. I want to watch myself back and see if I had ring light eyes when I was wearing it 
and I did go in my closet and look and I do have something similar dress wise to this pattern it's just a little more of a delicate pattern on the dress but I do like it um, it's forty four dollars it's a it's a maybe it's a maybe and it's maybe until I watch myself back and see if I like it or not this was real cute uh, it's very me it's very like what I would wear on a daily basis or wear when I'm at the farm with moms something that's light and loose and comfortable I love the coloring on it it's $54 I may keep it it just depends these jeans I actually liked them after I got them on for a minute and they stretched to fit me um, I'm not going to pay $88 for them, but I did like them. I thought they were flattering and cute. I just, I'm not going to pay that for them when I have a closet full of jeans. I just don't need them. $59 hoodie I might keep. Uh, I might regret it because if it peels and everything or comes out of shape, but I, I may keep it because I love these things and I wear them so often around moms to go outside and feed the dogs or um, walk the dog if I'm stepping outside here you know I just love them wear them to church if it's gonna be cold in, in the chapel you know <laughs> nice and cozy and yes us church ladies sometimes bring blankets to church sometimes you need them you're sitting there you're still your blood pressure gets lower you need some cold cover up because you get cold <laughs> y'all know what I mean Okay, last thing, these earrings, they're fun, funky, I just don't think I'll keep them, I, I don't know, there's a point where it, it gets like it feels too big on me, and this is it, I mean, if it was just a fraction smaller, I might have considered them for the color and fun of them, but I'm, I'm not going to keep them, so what do you think, y'all? Do you think I'm making the right decisions? Do you think I should keep something I didn't say I was gonna keep? Do you think I'm making a mistake keeping in the sweater? Um, should I keep one of these tops or both of these tops? I don't know. I think I would lean more towards this one than this one because it is more tight fitted. So I may just do this instead of this. I don't know. These are very me. It's hard to turn down stuff that you, you look at it and you immediately know it's you. You know what I mean? But then again, you want to get out of your box too. So y'all let me know what I should do. Please um, comment below and give this girl a little help because you know I need all the help I can get. And I really love seeing what y'all like and don't like. So thank you so very much for spending part of your day with me. I hope the rest of it is wonderful. Y'all, God bless.